Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, today we're going to be unboxing the Star Wars Mission Fleet Mandalorian Character Pack, which has just uh, recently come out. Um, big thanks to Goodies Toys for the hookup with this one. Um, very kind gesture. Um, he gave this to me as a gift. Um, so I thought I'd return the favour as much as I possibly can and just uh, give him a bit of a shout out. Um, and I'll drop links into the description. Uh, so if you're in Australia and you're looking for somewhere to buy your Star Wars toys, head on over to goodiestoys.com.au. There's toys with a Z at the end. Um, yeah, like I said, link will be in the description below. And yeah, another big thanks. I really appreciate this. This is a this is a cool looking set. I uh, have only got the sort of Mandalorian speeder bike set um, up until now, and I believe the Mandalorian is the same figure as well as the uh, the pram for the child. But decided to open it up just in st anyway um, and have a look at these other characters and uh, just have a look at what's inside. So on the back we've got the pictures of the characters. Stormtrooper, Mandalorian, the Child, Cara Dune, and IG-11. Down the bottom, look at a few little other sets you can get. You can get Vader and his TIE Advanced. Luke and his X-Wing. Obi, uh, is that Obi-Wan? No, that's Anakin in the Jedi Starfighter. Boba Fett with a jetpack and a clone trooper with a jetpack. There are a few other sets, um, but yeah, this is... This is one that actually appeals to me, so um, yeah, let's let's open up and take a look. If I can. <laughs> the first time Hasbro's used decent glue in a while. <laughs> so here they all are. And we'll start with Mando. Then Jaren himself. His blaster weapons out as well, and uh, yeah, we'll get a look. So again, I did review this this figure with the uh, speeder bike set that he came with. Um, so I won't spend too much time on it, but it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, I'll do like the the rifle he comes with, the uh, cape does just pop off and is switchable for the jetpack so that's kind of cool I can have one displayed with one and one displayed with the other so that works cool but I think I do like the cape on this particular figure yeah it comes with his little blaster pistol as well nicely done nicely designed and you know this is a kid centric line um, but you know there's, a, there's still a bit of fun to be had with these uh, you know they're just cool little cool little collectible figures I, I dig it so let's put him aside and we'll get a little group shot at the end so the pram and the child so here's the pram comes with this little stand again uh, this little clear attachment came with the speeder bike, so you could plug it onto the back of the speedy, speeder bike and pull it along. Um, but yeah, effectively this is exactly the same. Which is fine. And we have another variation of the child here, which is cool. If I can quickly just grab the other one. Here is the first one. This is the one that came with the speeder. And we've got a new one here. So I'm pretty sure the heads are the same. No reason to be different. Uh, maybe they're not. Maybe this one on the right has his ears pricked up a little bit more. So it could be a different sculpt. But that's cool nonetheless. I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, the, I did notice that the uh, head swap can be done with the Black Series child. But yes, yeah, still pretty damn cute. Who doesn't love the child? Alright, so next up, we we'll go for IG-11. What an awesome character IG-11 is. He's uh, a 
unfortunately didn't make it past the first season and he almost hasn't made it here because his head's just popped off but that's okay it's a simple peg and he looks pretty cool big fan of IG-11 he's fantastic voiced by the awesome Taika Waititi Boom, check that out. That's cool. I like him a lot. He is fantastic. And he's got a little little backpack piece there as well. So I dare say they are planning on dropping an IG88 at some point. Because he has a you know, he has a hole in the back for something different. Whether or not that's just the sort of interchangeability of like the accessories and the weapons and and that sort of stuff, you can just completely overpower him and put a big big blaster on his back. But I don't know. I'd say that's uh, very much a possibility if uh, Hasbro decides to continue on with this line. All right, so we'll go on and we'll take a look at the, the Stormtrooper. Stormtroopers always look cool. So he's got his. E11 blaster there. Yeah, it looks cool. I like that little stylized look of this guy. <clears throat> Again, hole in the back. So yeah, maybe my theory on uh, IG88 is is null and void. This is just a little plug for extra accessories, and uh, I know the uh, speeder bike came with a few extra guns and cannons and stuff, so. Probably to just plug into the back, um, and also probably interchange with like uh, Boba Fett's glider pack or the Clone Trooper's glider pack, or whatever it is. Just interchange between the characters, and uh, so the young ones can get a little bit extra playtime out of them, have a little bit of fun. But uh, yeah, I, like, I dig this little little guy. It's only like a couple of inches tall. They're not that big at all. So you don't need to worry too much about having space for them. But yeah, lastly, we'll, we'll take out Cara Dune and uh, take a look at her. Get rid of that plastic. Alright, so we'll get a look at her. Heavy blaster. That's cool. And her blaster pistol. That's pretty nice too. Yeah, yeah, another nice, another cool character that is, uh, you know, has those accents and colours that really translate well into like a, you know, slightly deformed animated style. You know, you've got the big side part there of, of one longer side of her hair. Even got the little tattoo there on her arm. But they've, uh, the design of the characters for Mandalorian, they've been... Uh, very aware of colour. And, uh, you know, you've got the silver of the Mandalorian. You've got blues. You've got blacks and reds with Gideon. Sort of browns, yellows, greens with Quill, etc. So let's give her... Yep. Big hole in the back. <laughs> That's my theory. Well and truly dusted. Well, these are cool, they're just, um, you know, minimal articulation, they've got, they've got joints in the heads, uh, actually have a hinge in the elbow, swivel wrists, and uh, swivel at the thighs there, so pretty cool. I like it, I think they're cool. Alright, let's uh, take a look at them all together. Alright, here's the squad. They're looking pretty cool together. I do dig these figures. They're, they're, they're only small. I don't intend on buying them all. Um, they're pretty cheap. They look, they're just cool little stylized figures. I dig them. I hope to get the Ahsoka one at some point. Uh, she's one of the smaller sets. Um, and who knows? I'm, I may delve a little deeper. Um, but definitely if they do any more Mandalorian packs, I will, I will get some more because uh, yeah, I just love all the characters from Mandalorian. 
All right, folks, thanks for very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to check out goodiestoys.com.au. Um, yeah, just keep keep checking out the website, check them out on social media and all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, keep tabs and uh, let him know I sent you. So uh, yeah, if you, have, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet to subscribe to my channel, please, please do. That would be fantastic. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.